Okay. I don't know why I say that at the beginning of every video. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, this is going to be my review of the new Can To Shea Butter for Naturals hair lotion, creamy hair lotion. So, I hope you guys can see that. Um, I don't know how new it is. When I was doing some reviews on YouTube, I found a video with someone talking about this product um, last year, early last year, I think. So I had never seen it though. I just came across this product within the last couple of weeks through the internet. I had not seen it anywhere. I mostly shop at Target. Um, my Sally's doesn't have it and I don't, I don't do Walmart. If you know me, you know I absolutely do not go to Walmart. So if they had it there, I would never have known. Um, but anyways, uh, I just wanted to do a review kind of on the product because what happened um, is that, as some of you know, I have used this K, what am I talking about? Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream as my daily moisturizer. I've been using it for a couple years at least, I would say. And um, the last time I bought it, sorry, it's all dirty. Um, I noticed that the cap looked a little bit different to me. Like instead of it being just a flat orange, it's kind of like this metallic -y orange, but nowhere on the front of the container did it say that it was new and improved or that, you know, now with some other kind of ingredient. So I was just kind of like, okay, they, they changed the cap on it. So I was using it, using it, didn't notice any difference to be 100% honest. It still worked the way it always had in my hair. So um, continue to use it. Uh, one day I just decided to look at the ingredients again. Um, I know that when I first started using it, I was like kind of in the beginning of my hair journey and I would read all the ingredients to make sure that they never had any kind of mineral oil or petroleum and all that kind of stuff. So um, I thought I'd just look over the ingredients again and I was reading all the good stuff that I knew this had in it and I get to the ninth or 10th line and I now see mineral oil. So they have gone ahead and improved a product that I had loved for years by adding mineral oil and didn't even bother to put it on the front that they did it. Um, so I was a little bit uh, irritated by that. I was, like I said, about halfway through when I noticed it. And as you can see now, there's just a very little bit in the bottom. So I did continue to use it, but I knew that um, once I got to the end of this particular jar, I would probably be interested in learning if there was something else I could use. Um, I just don't want to use it if it's going to have mineral oil in it. And yeah, like I said, it is the ninth or 10th item, not ninth or 10th item, on the ninth or 10th line. So there's just like a ton of other stuff before it. So it probably has very little mineral oil in it, but still... I just, I don't want mineral oil in my products. So, um, as this was nearing the end, which you can see it's almost there, I started doing some research on mostly YouTube and some of the hair boards and I learned about this. So I was like, it's by um, Cantu, it's a moisturizer. Um, it's uh, saying it's for natural hair, but I mean, why is, what makes it for natural hair it's a moisturizer just like a shampoo that's for you know <laughs> natural it's to cleanse the hair right so whatever so um i know that a lot of naturals are familiar with this because it was included in one of those monthly subscriptions um i don't know if it's called a curl kit or a curl box or something that a lot of naturals subscribe to when they received i think earlier this year in one of their um boxes and a lot of them were raving about it that they really really like this product so of course you know I did some research on what the ingredients are and a lot of the great ingredients that are in here are also in here but minus anything bad it actually says on the back no mineral oil sulfates parabens silicones I don't know what that word is um, gluten paraffin 
something glycol, PABA, or DEA. So, um, yeah, I knew that I wanted to give this a try. Now, the only places um, when I did research on where I could get this, because like I said, I'd never seen it at my Target, the only places in my area that it said it carried this product was Walmart and Walgreens. So I did find it at my local Walgreens. It was $7.79, so it is a little bit more, um, costs a little bit more than this one. This one I believe is $5.99. And as far as ounces, this one's 16 fluid ounces. And this one is 13.8 so more expensive a little less product now comparison I've used this one let's see mm, I'll, I'll say seven times I've had it for a little bit over a week and so yeah well I've had about two weeks so well, I'll say I'll god what do I want to say I've used it at least seven times I would say and I really really like it like this has replaced this for me and that's major if I've been using this as a daily moisturizer for you know two plus years to just say okay I'm done with this and I'm going to use this now in, in place of it that's that's big so um I, I, I really like it <laughs> is what I'm trying to get out here I'm going to try to show you the consistency of it um just so you can see it really is kind of like a hair lotion it's um just like a lotion very 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 um, lightweight once you get it in your hair um, which is something that I like um, but yeah that is the texture of that <laughs> okay and let me show you um, which most of you are familiar with the, the leave-in repair cream this one um, show you the consistency of it it to me is a little bit more choppy uh, if that makes any sense but um, it's a similar feel feel to the product so um, they feel similar in the hair they work similar um, so yeah I think that's it the only negative I would say about the new the new product the creamy hair lotion um, is that it comes in this bottle like this so every time you want to use it you got to kind of shake it down and whatnot so I think I'm gonna put some of it in a, a jar just to make it easier for myself to use but again um, here's a close-up of it if you haven't seen it before and I really like it. So that is my review of this product. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.